What's going on, YouTube? How are you guys doing? Check it out. All right, look. A lot. A lot has happened since my last video. Um, I know it was a little intense. It's meant to be that way, okay? Intensity brings passion, gets people to act, gets people to do things. I am not a perfect person. We all know this. Um, I have a lot of vices. I'm not afraid to admit them. I have made a lot of very major changes in my life, okay? Uh, some good, some bad. You know, you got to... That, that's part of this business, okay? Part of this business is understanding that you're going to go through ups and downs and you're going to go through life struggles while you're trying to do your career. And if you're not prepared uh, for those life struggles, I mean, you're not going to make it, right? That goes with any job. But I will say this, um, you know, I've gone through a lot of relationship-related issues, okay? A lot of my doing. I only blame myself. I cannot blame anyone I've ever been with for anything I've gone through outside of, you know, yeah, they made bad decisions just like I did, right? Um, but the bottom line is, is, you know, whenever I go through something where it's major, okay, it doesn't matter what it is. Let's say it's, um, you know, maybe you lost your job. I've never lost a job because well, I've never been fired. Um, you know, I, I couldn't even relate to a guy who's been fired because, well, maybe I kind of been fired. I've been let go, so to speak, from one job in my entire life, okay? Um, but it was more, more so like I put in my resignation, okay? Nevertheless, doesn't matter. That's irrelevant. Whenever I go through very difficult times in my life, I try to share that information to others. And in my sharing of that information to others, it's amazing, okay? Because I watch other people, like, grasp onto it, and then they, like, run with it, and it changes their entire life. That right there is why I live, you know, that, that, that honestly is what I think I was put here to do is just to help other people realize like, Hey, look, you're not the only one, you know, you're not the only one who has a drinking problem. You're not the only one who has relationship problems. You're not the only one who has, you know, that car that beats the hell out of you every day, you know, or your efficiency is not where it should be. Or, you know, you have to work on this year or you have to work on that. Okay, we all have things to work on. Nobody is perfect. If you think you're perfect, you're an idiot. Okay, straight up. We all know we have things to work on. I'm not going to sit here and nail you guys with Bible verses. I'm not going to sit here and nail you guys with all that. Okay, you can do that on your own time. If you want to learn your religion, you want to learn your, your God, your, your higher power, or you want to learn what it is to be a human being, you do that on your own time. All I'm going to do is I'm going to share what I think, okay? I'm going to share what I'm doing at any given moment in time. So if you want to learn from me, great. If you want to learn from, you know, I learn from everyone else, okay? So, like, if you ever, if you really want to understand who I am as a person um, and you want to know how I learn so that you can learn, um, or adapt your learning style or whatever, watch my Polly's Learning on YouTube. I mean, I've got all my channel or all the videos I've been watching over the course of, you know, as I'm watching them, I'm saving them. As I'm watching them, I'm saving them. There's a very specific reason I'm doing that, okay? I'm doing that to share with somebody else. I don't care, you know, if it's one person. It can be one person out of a million, okay? And if I help that one person get out of the pits of hell, then I then I accomplish my mission, right? You know, I can sit here and give you a line of BS and tell you that you're 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 gonna have all these great things coming to you and all these great things are gonna happen, okay? 
that's 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 a that's a mystical illusion. Okay, that's called magic. We call that magic. Okay, I can do that. That's called false motivation. Okay, so let me explain to you how that works. Watch. Look, you're amazing. Like, why are you even questioning yourself right now? Like, all you got to do is just go out, study, and make it happen. All right, that's called that's called false motivation. Okay, because I'm telling you what you already know. You just needed somebody else to tell you it in order for it to reaffirm and make you feel better, right? Now, I'm not discrediting that. There is value in that. Okay, you need that reinforcement from other individuals. Um, for example, I do a lot of uh, watching of older great minds, you know, like uh, Bishop Fulton Sheen. Okay, I really admire that man. I wish I had an ounce of his knowledge. Okay, but it, in order to get there. You have to start somewhere, okay? It doesn't mean you have to be perfect at it, okay? So that's the big thing. A lot of people get discouraged because they assume that this man's so holy or this man's here and I'm here. So therefore, I cannot get there. That's not true. See, that's the that's the lie. That is the lie that's holding you down. You, you look at the guy in the bay to your left, okay? And he's doing X, Y, Z. And you want to do X, Y, Z. You want to be like him, okay? And you almost hate the man. You almost hate the man because you're like, how is it that he gets to do that? And I don't. You know, I have more passion and drive than him. I have more, I have more uh, passion, more drive, more fire. But yet he is over there just, you know, collecting jealousy okay now you see maybe maybe you'll see sometime why I pay attention to great minds does it mean that I'm perfect no does it mean that I think everyone's going to hell no 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 it's not what I said at all it's just that I'm enlightening my mind I'm always enlightening my mind now there could be a time next year that I'm enlightening my mind on waveform analysis or electrical this, or maybe I'm looking up how to build a birdhouse. It really doesn't matter, okay? The bottom line is, is life is not static, okay? You know what a static balance is on a tire, right? You know, one-sided weight. You put it on one side to even out and balance out the tire, okay? Life is not static. Life is dynamic. Life is dynamic. Dynamic balance, right? We put two weights on to counterbalance one another. Interesting. Interesting. When you start looking at life differently, okay? Um, I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad for sharing what I share. And here's why. Because I don't care what other people think. I do care what other people think in to the extent of I do want respect, I do want loyalty, I do want people to understand me and I do want people to like me. Of course, who doesn't? But at the same time I realize that in this life you are not going to please everyone, okay? And in order for you to bring about change, or if you are trying to accomplish something, I don't care what it is. If you're trying to start your own business, if you're trying to break through and do something new, you're going to be hated, okay? So if you are not one of those persons that can handle that emotionally and physically and mentally, you're going to have a talk, you're, you're going to have a difficult time, okay? So right now, I'm in a difficult spot because... I'm not lacking in my knowledge. Why? Well, of course, I'm always learning. But I'm not lacking career-wise. I was uh, financially. Like, it's like, hey, you know, it's time for a raise. Like, I'm doing more than what I'm being paid for. 
But honesty wins the day. Honesty wins the day. And what did I get? I got compensated. Everyone gets compensated for what they're worth if they're worth it. I've been I've been saying this. What do you call it? Preaching? I've been preaching it for a long time on this channel. If you have work ethic and you do the right thing and you have patience and you put your mind to it, you'll get it. Okay? But it requires patience. You know, sometimes quitting something isn't always the right answer. Um, whether that be a relationship, whether that be a job, it really doesn't matter. The hard part is, is figuring out what decision to make. Do I go new or do I stay with the old? Okay? At any given moment in time, we really don't know what's the right answer. And that's that's what makes life interesting. It's like a roller coaster ride. Like you really don't know if those bars are going to hold you in when you go over the hill. Okay. I really don't know if I like this cigarette. Okay. Okay. Now listen, I really don't know if I like this cigarette, if I will die of lung cancer. I really don't know. Yes. Science and the health department tells me I will. Okay. So let me ask you this. How is it my grandmother is 84 years old and is still smoking? Yeah, she's had cancer, but she's still alive. You tell me. Now, granted, and I will actually give a shout out to my grandmother, my grandma Rogers. Yeah, I will. The woman had a hard life, okay? She grew up, well, she first of all, she was born, and she was given up for adoption, okay? And Grandma, you're on your way, so I'm pretty sure you're not going to have a problem with this. This is your tribute from me, okay, personally. She grew up in, in, in the Depression era, okay, in the 30s, was given up for adoption to the Catholic nuns. Yeah, the orphanage, right? The nuns. And she was brutally treated. She was treated unfairly. Um, made to pray the rosary, kneel on concrete and pray the rosary. And, you know, and I'll be honest with you, we had many debates, me and her, growing up, um, when I was growing up, about the Catholic Church because she had a very disdain for the Catholic Church. But at the same time, as she aged, she changed her opinion a little bit. I don't think completely. Grandma, correct me if I'm wrong. But, you know, as she aged, the truth maybe was revealed to her. I don't know. I mean, I'm not her, right? Um, but I recently visited her this last weekend, and it was very amazing. Okay. And I value that time. I value that time to the point where it almost makes me want to cry. Okay. Um, I really do. Uh, so what, what was I saying? Oh, a very devout woman, good woman teaches values uh, values children, raised me and my cousins, all of my cousins to be, you know, semi-responsible. Um, we all grew up together. We played baseball in the, in the yard. You know, um, the gal I'm with right now was a friend from back then. She played baseball with us when we were kids. I mean, you can't make that stuff up. You can't even make that up. Um, Something to consider. Wouldn't one think? Something to consider. Yeah, I'm posting this video. Why? Because it's the truth. Take care. And don't ever underestimate, you know, sometimes the answers lie in other areas. You know, if you're trying to get ahead, 
Are you trying to do what you need to do as a man or a woman for that, for that matter, right? You know, why are you looking at the, why are the answers always got to be in the same spot? You know, like broaden your perspective a little bit, you know, study, listen, learn, and you'd be surprised. Okay. So there's my message. God bless you and take care.